This is the beginner's guide to Microsoft Designer. And what is Designer? It's a suite of creativity tools that enable you or anyone to be creative. It's Microsoft's answer to Adobe Express and to Canva. And in this video, you will learn everything you need to get started using Microsoft Designer. Let's get started. So here I am in Microsoft Designer. I simply went to designer.microsoft.com. And as you can see, it says preview in the upper left. When Microsoft announced Microsoft Designer, they made it available in expanded public preview so that anyone can try it for free. If you go down to the bottom of the announcement page, it says preview means that they're still working on a few of the features. And while they're working on it, anyone can use it for free. Eventually, once it's out of preview, you'll need to have a Microsoft 365 subscription to be able to use some of the features. Now, for those of you that already have a Microsoft 365 account, maybe through a business or a school, if you try signing into Designer with that business or school account, you probably will not be able to access Designer. Instead, sign in with a free account. Okay, so I'm in my free account here, and as you can see, there are different tools available, including some generative AI tools. If I browse down the screen a ways, you can see what they are. An image creator, a sticker creator, design creator. We've got a tool to remove backgrounds out of images, a brand kit creator, and more. Below that, there are some designs for social media that you can use. And in a future video, I may focus in on some of these other features. But for today, let's say I just need to create a poster for a school end of semester celebration. There are several ways I could use Designer to create this poster. But I'm going to browse down here and get started with Generative AI, and I'm going to select Design Creator. So it loads the Design Creator. And here, I just need to describe what it is I'm trying to create. How about this? A poster advertising a school end of semester celebration. Now before I click the generate button to try to generate this poster, notice that I can select this button to add media that I already have to this poster. So for example, I would like to click and add from this device the school logo to this poster. So I've selected it and it's uploading that school logo to hopefully include it as part of this poster. So now when I click generate, let's see what the results are. It looks like Designer has produced some pretty good results for us. You'll notice the school logo is included in each of these designs that have been produced. The only thing is, most of these designs don't really say celebration, right? They don't look very celebratory. Notice over here at the left, Microsoft Designer is trying to coach me to make a little bit better poster. Why not try this suggestion? A playful poster, etc. So let's click that and try what Microsoft Designer suggests might make for a more celebratory poster. I'll click Generate, and you'll have to decide if that's any better, any more fun than the previous version. But also, keep in mind that this is just the beginning of the process of creating my poster. So I'm going to go with this one here. I select it, and then I'll click Customize Design. Now, it is possible that the result you get here is so perfect that you don't need to customize it at all. In those cases, just click Download, and you're done. But I'm going to click Customize Design, and it's going to open up Microsoft Designer's editing tools. There's some pop-ups that can help me learn to use Microsoft Designer, but I'm just going to X out of those. And let's look at what we have here. We have not simply just an image, but we have several different elements that make up this image. So for example, I can select the text here toward the bottom of my graphic, and it's all editable. I find this text to be way too small, so I can easily click and make the text much bigger, much more appropriate, in my opinion, for this poster. I can click to select that text and make it centered if I want. I can change the font type just by clicking and browsing through the different options. So I'm pretty happy with that. I can also click on the center image that is the school logo, and I can adjust it, move it to the side, make it smaller if I want to, and then I can click away, click back onto it to move it. Maybe I want it just here in the upper right corner, and that will free up some space for other elements that I could add to this image. Okay, so I love this. Not only does Microsoft Designer have these AI tools that I can use to quickly start a project, but it's also got editing tools that I can use to move things, resize them, adjust them however I need to. Okay, next, I would like to include some images of people, of students. So over here on the left, there's a button for visuals. Let's see what that can give us. So I click on visuals, and now I can search everything. I'll just type students laughing. That looks pretty good. 
I could simply click on any one of these and add that image into my poster. I'm gonna undo that by clicking here, just clicking a couple of times, because I want you to see that not only can you just search for existing images, but you can again use artificial intelligence, this time to create something very specific to add into your poster. So I would like an image of a female student, let's say high school student, walking and laughing. I'll tap enter on the keyboard or I could click this button here. And Microsoft Designer is composing an image of a female student walking and laughing. Let's see how that goes. I get two different results and I can click to add one of the results into my poster. Notice that I do have some filters I can apply. I can also adjust the image in brightness using this slider, contrast, sharpness, all of those kinds of things. I also have a blur background option that will blur the background even more. And I have a tool that will remove the background from behind this student. Okay, I might click and drag and put this image over here on the left and I can resize it down. And now I can go back to visuals if I want to, and I could, again, search all, or I could generate something new, or I could access specifically photos or graphics or videos even to add into this document. In this case though, I'll just generate an image of a male high school student walking and laughing. And again, if I want to, I can remove the background. If I need more text, I can simply click over here on text and add, let's say, a heading. Maybe I'll put the day and time of the celebration, and then I can click and drag to move that where I want it to be. I can size it the way I want to size it, click away, and then click back on it to move it to where it goes. Okay, so this is just one example of many of the kinds of things that you can create. And we're combining here our own graphics, like the image of the school logo, with AI-generated images and photos and other assets that are in Microsoft Designer. We're combining that all together, along with text, to produce something that is new and creative. When I'm done with my poster, all I need to do is click Download here in the upper right. And I can then download a copy of this to my computer. This will be a PNG, and I can use this PNG in lots of different ways. I could upload it to social media. I could have it printed. I could include it in a Microsoft Word document or a Google document, a presentation, whatever it is that I want to use it in. Now, in addition to downloading, it is possible to send it or share it in some other ways. So those are good options as well. Now, one of the nice things about Microsoft Designer is that all of this work that I've been doing has been done in the cloud, on the internet, and so it's all saved automatically there. There's not really a save button that I need to worry about. And anytime I need to or want to, I can just click back here on Designer, and it takes me back to my Microsoft Designer homepage, but I don't need to worry. My project has been saved, and if I want to get back to it, I just click here on My Projects, and there it is. I can then click on it to open it up again and continue working. So in this video, we've looked at just one of the several Microsoft Designer tools that we have access to. If you remember back here on the Designer homepage, I started with Design Creator and said I wanted to create a poster. But I could have started here and created a sticker. Or if all I cared about was creating an AI image, I could have gone here. So there's all of these other tools as well that you can start with or just go down to the very bottom and choose a design for social media. So let's say I want an Instagram story. I could just go down there and click, and it takes me to the interface that should look familiar. This is the same basic interface I was using to create my poster, but now it's sized properly for Instagram. But I can again go here to add text or visuals and even generate some AI produced images. I can upload my own media if I want to from my computer and incorporate those into my project. So I think that this totally free, as of right now, Microsoft Designer is very powerful, very useful. It reminds me a lot of Adobe Express and also somewhat of Canva, but I think it's definitely worth checking out. If you liked this video, I would ask you to please share it with others that you think might like it. If there's a good response to this video, I would be happy to make additional Microsoft Designer tutorials and videos showing you how to use all of its many features. Also, I would encourage you, if you like this, to also learn about Microsoft Express. It has some similar tools and some tools that Microsoft Designer does not have, and vice versa. Designer has some tools that Adobe Express doesn't have. And then I also have videos about Canva, so I would hope that you would check out all of my videos, of course, but if you're interested in Designer, Express will also be interesting to you, and Canva. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to join me as a channel member. Or you could support me by clicking the thanks button or through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video.